What if I told you it's a way to make money when inflation is going bad and good? How is that possible? Well, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about my baby, TMF, and why I told y'all we should get into it and why right now, right now, might be the best opportunity you could have to take advantage of interest rates and make money even if we go into a recession. Before we get started though, like always, like, subscribe, share to our channel as we continue to grow on these YouTube streets. I'm giving you information, but in real life, I am a board certified financial planner it's in beautiful Florida. But today, we're gonna talk about making money with inflation or without inflation, but more importantly, during a recession, why this investment can get you to the bag Hopefully we don't have a recession though. We don't want to see nobody losing their job, but if so, this is going to help you dramatically. Lego. Core inflation easing for the month for the fourth month in a row. So what does this essentially mean for the Fed's next move? Here with that is our very own Jennifer Schomburger. She was so shocked, but I can't talk like her now. She was so shocked because CPI came in better than expected. Good morning, Shauna. This morning's CPI report offers the Federal Reserve the progress they want to see on inflation, giving the central bank more good data to cut rates in September. Here are three things that we learned. Cut rates, my baby, TMF. From this morning's report. Number one, overall, we saw continued good progress on inflation on both a core and non-core basis. Continue Look at that. Inflation up over 9% just a year and a half ago. Now is at 3.2. Still kind of high. Average is 2%, but still, still pretty good. Even that downward trend that started in the second quarter, overall CPI in July rose 2.9%, and on a core basis, excluding volatile food and energy prices, rose 3.2%. The latest reading represented the smallest annual increase since March 2021. We're going to leave it there. The smallest annual increase. Think about that. Inflation has been going up like crazy. But now for three and a half years, March 2021, the smallest annual increase. We can't say that the Fed has demolished, eliminated inflation. No. But man, they've done an awesome job, right? I mean, it's not to the point where it was in 2019. When it was at, um, you know, under 2%, I'm sorry, 2.2 and 2.4% respectively, all items and excluding food and energy. But man, we're getting close. And the trend we're on, the trend we're on now, we'll probably get there within six months. So Jerome Powell, yes, you were slow to raise rates and slow to lower them. But still, we have to admit, you have done a pretty good job. Now we're going to talk about my baby, TMF. Let's go to the charts. And look at here, look at here, my profiteers. This thing is just running. Now, I've been talking about TMF for a very, 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 very long time. Um, case in point, y'all check out my video. I talked about this last year because the thought process was the Federal Reserve would lower rates six times, meaning when they lower interest rates, then long-term bonds, the value goes up in price right remember interest rates go down the value of long-term treasury bonds go up and there's two ways we can invest in them either tlt if you're conservative or be aggressive baby and do tmf not telling you what to do you want to have your own risk tolerance that's why you do a risk tolerance questionnaire and work with a certified financial planner like myself but we're going to talk about the aggressive version tmf and as we did this, actually, it went down. It went down. We looked at it. Actually, for my clients, we invested this back October of last year. And look at this, y'all. Look at this. Now, we did it uh, the last week of October, so we're not at the bottom, right? But look at these Bollinger Bands. What Bollinger Bands are, right? When it's down, this is the best time to buy, best time to sell. So we bought here. And look at that, up by 54% from late October to early December. Now, we didn't get out then, right? We did get out, though, um, in the um, high 50s, right? 59 to be exact. But it's basically about a 35% return. In two months, invested in a nine stock, 
making 35% in two months. What? That's like an option, y'all. That's being aggressive. Being conservative, you made about 10% in TLT. And guess what happened? It's been puttering around. Ugh. Dragging down, right? This is called a drag down, where we have some good days. Oh, and bad days. Pump fake. And what happens, right? Our lows get make it bigger. Pause. Pause, pause, pause on that one. Super pause. But as you can see, right, lows get lower. And here, this was the opportunity. I didn't get in here for clients. But this was the opportunity to get in as we hit the Bollinger Bands. Again, basically the sell zone, theoretically speaking. Buy zone. Basically too much over buying, too much over selling. So here, oh, one week down by 9%. Ooh, second week down by 4%. Ooh, then 4%, then 3 Man, it's almost 20%. Correction, you got it. And it would have been correct to buy it right here. If you did, back in April, look at there, look at there, 40. Uh, right now, you are at 37%. For my clients, we didn't buy it there, though, right? But we did buy it, though. Uh, we bought it in early May, um, 46 but 46 now, still a 24% return from May to August. S&P 500 though, since uh, we'll say July. I, I, we did this for our clients in June. Let's say he was late to the ball. And now in July, we got in. Look at this. Look at this. Doop. And we look at July. 1.125%. 100,000. We made now, of course, we had a drop. It's recovering though, but 1.23%. Russell 2000, uh, uh. but now we look at the um, S&P 500, now the NASDAQ, same thing, right? Same time period, whoop, we look, we look, we look since July, what you doing since July, my profiteers, right? Down by 3.25%, was a lot worse, so again, S&P 500 since July, up by 1%, NASDAQ down by three, but my baby, look at here, look at here, profiteers. We actually do this since July, July, July. Up 14.9, let's just say 15%. So my profiteers, this is why we take advantage of the Fed lowering interest rates. It's recession, sucks for people as investors, a safer way because historically treasuries and bonds are a safer investment than stocks and over the past few months and over the past really six months if you listen to me and when i talked about tmf all these last eight months since october to be exact you my profiteers nice ride now throughout the whole time from october to today has the s p 500 and nasdaq done better yes because Jerome Powell pump faked us with interest rates going down. But we adapted. How do we adapt? It's because when it slowly but surely went down, we got out. And then we got back in. Not at the bottom. Nobody. I mean, nobody gets in at the bottom. But we did a pretty good job, though, for May having that swing. And I believe, my profiteers, we have some room to run. Uh, the next indication, as we can see, the next kind of hit on the Bollinger Band where it spiked is at 65. Oof. Going from now to 65, that is another 12% return. Now, my profiteers, will that happen? Mm. I think by the end of next year, this is going to get to 100. Yes, my profiteers, 100. Why do we say that? We're going to have predicted wife six rate cuts and typically for every rate cut historically historically you get a 10 to 15 percent run-up on tmf and when it comes to tlt a two to three percent run-up so if they cut rates six times six times so that means if we're at five percent from five to four Actually, you know what, profiteers? We'll go back to the whiteboard. Back on the whiteboard, my profiteers. So six cuts means right now we're at 5.5.
right? So going down to 4.5, every 0.25, it's a cut, right? So 5.5 to 4.5, that equals four cuts. Four cuts, right? Six cuts mean we go not to 4.5, but to four. Now, 4% Fed interest rate historically is high. Usually the Fed rates are around 2.5 to 3.25%, so about 3%. So we're still high. We are still higher than average being at 4%. But what's going to happen, my profiteers, if it's at 4% and they cut six times, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, you get it, six times. And remember, my profiteers, as we get out of this, that means that means that TMF historically for every 0.25% or one cut that gives us a we'll say on the low end 10% return. Well, we talked about the rule of 72. The rule of 72 is we take the top, the bottom and divide, right? So we take 72 Divide with the return, that gets us how long it takes us to deliver our money. Well, my profiteers, we know, I know, I know, I know, we know that over one year, 60%, 72, divided by 60, uh, uh, uh. That means we are doubling our money, my profiteers, in 1.5 years. Now, am I saying that TMF is going to double in 1.5 years? Am I saying we're going to double our money in 1.5 years? But if history repeats itself and every single time the Fed cuts, TMF goes up by at least 10%, we're we'll looking to double my money in 1.5 years. And with a recession possibly coming next year or 2026, hopefully it does not. I'm not predicting it. Just saying it's a 25% chance per Goldman Sachs. That means it's 75% chance it won't happen. So take it with a grain of salt. But if that happens, my profiteers, TMF doubling in a year and some change, that means uh, a year, what is it, July, August? So basically October of next year, TMF doubles, got $100,000, now you made $200,000. I don't think that the market's gonna double go up by 60% over the next eight months. Now, Tom Lee thinks small caps will, conversation for another day, but a safer, not safe, but a safer way to invest if we have an upcoming recession or if interest rates go down. That happens, my baby, TMF. So that's why if we go back to the charts and we can clearly see it's gonna be a higher Bollinger Band, yes, we can clearly see why I think that TMF definitely going up by 60% a year. From here, basically doubles our money. Two years, but per the math, one year, two months. So my profiteers, comment below. What y'all think about TMF? Going up like crazy? Will it continue to go up? Or am I being crazy is about to go down? Do you think the Fed's gonna lower rates? I do, especially starting in September. Anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, love is love. Be diversified, though. Don't put all your eggs in the TMF basket, even though that TMF basket might be a fruitful one. All is well, y'all. Let's make some paper profits together. Peace. Making the money mistakes, make a payment on your bills and you still late. Yeah, pay for profits to help you seek change. Uh, and you just wanna get paid. Yeah, tired of making no money mistakes, make a payment on your bills and you still late. Uh, pay for profits to help you seek change. Yeah, cut the show and just listen. You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions. Residual by the hours can get you a better living. Uh, been check the check, you knowing it could be different. You know.